Well, earlier this evening, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice made the decision to reopen the Mountain State starting tomorrow. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick joins us now live in studio to break down how this will be done in three parts. Haley. Rob, Governor Justice says most businesses will reopen in the next three to six weeks and says the state's comeback is possible thanks to West Virginians. I was on a national show just a little while ago and I said, we have witnessed the miracle of West Virginia. And I said, the miracle has been you, West Virginians. You've listened, you've responded, you've kept your distances. Justice says that has allowed the state to start making an economic comeback. The stay in place order still stands and precautionary measures are still encouraged. Do what you've done. Absolutely wear mask. Absolutely keep social distancing. Help us if there's people that are not trying to comply and there are people that are doing things that they shouldn't have done, shouldn't do. Tell us. But West Virginians, help the elderly. Help in every way. They all look nice and healthy. Somebody's doing a good job brushing their teeth. The reopening of West Virginia's economy is phased into a three to six week schedule. Beginning on April 30th, week one includes the health clinics and facilities such as dentistry, physical therapy, mental health and daycare. Week two includes beauty salons and any business with 10 employees or less. Week three through six includes all other businesses, the order of which is yet to be determined, but businesses will get a one week advance notice that they can open. Health experts also had some other potentially good news on Wednesday. Uh, there is a vaccine that's been produced from the Oxford group in the United Kingdom, and this is basically using a targeting approach against the spike protein on the corona uh, virus. And it's an exciting finding that six rhesus monkeys were injected with the vaccine and then challenged with the coronavirus. And that's a very close connection with people. And they were fine 28 days later. And so that gives us some hope that maybe this vaccine might be uh, effective. Now, some other takeaways from today's press briefing is that the DHHR says 96% of the state's nursing homes have been tested, and that also new data shows one single person who has the coronavirus will infect less than one person. In the studio, I'm Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. Haley, thanks. Well, many West Virginia businesses are certainly looking forward to the possibility of reopening next week. Workers at Soho's restaurant at Capital Market in Charleston were busy moving tables so they could offer outdoor dining. They have been limited to a carry-out only menu for several weeks. Many churches are also preparing for their congregations to return. We're following all the guidelines from the governor's office, from the CDC. You know, every single day we're sanitizing, doing everything that we can possibly do to make, uh, to make everything safe for everybody that's coming around. And here we would be seating people uh, every other pew, maybe two only per pew, uh, which mean we would be limited to maybe 40 people in our sanctuary. Like many churches, First Presbyterian Church of St. Albans will continue to live stream its services on Facebook even after people are allowed back in for Sunday services.